Okay, so you know what's kind of sus about this is that it doesn't look long enough for the side skirts. <laughs> nope, that's a lie. It actually fits. So I'm gonna be really vocal about this order. I actually ordered this earlier this year. I believe it was March of 2022. When did I get this? When did I receive this this package? October. I got it in October. That's seven months worth of waiting, Maxton Design. I kept bugging about them about hey when is it gonna come so this is the lightest ground effect between the front lip and the rear diffuser this is i believe made by polyurethane yeah it's funny how i already scratched it with the cutter <laughs> good thing i scratched the inside not the outside it's not smooth it's textured I'm a little concerned because I kind of want to make sure that they look seamless. Okay, this this is a, the last piece for the ground effects and I don't want it failing on me. So there are already divots for uh, possible holes. I'll probably add two more for support. Right, right. Okay, let's, let's try to mock them first. So it's a really plain design. This is their V1. And you know, a few months later, they released their V2 and other designs. So rip, but it, you know, it just works with the design that I'm going for. So to commit on the color palette of my car, since I painted this the same color as the rear diffuser, I'm gonna try to paint this as well in the same color or shade, I guess, of black. Is there a shade of black? I don't know. Anyway, that's what we're gonna do. And while we wait for the paint to dry, we're gonna try to remove the side skirt panels off of the car so we can properly bolt them. No, we're not gonna screw them because if you screw them, you might as well just use hot glue. Okay? Mm. So I'm going to attempt to remove my side skirts off of my 370Z with very minimal daylight. So I'll just probably bring out my huge light outside so I can try to remove both sides. But I will only show you one side and just replicate on the other to make this video short, okay? Okay, I'm gonna tell you what I'm worried about, right? Okay, so no extensions, nothing installed with one plank. Bro, it just fits. I need to figure out something in here because this is, this is not gonna work later on. I'm really worried. Maybe we should do bags? Nah, that's too expensive. So when we're dual, dealing with the rear part of this um, side skirt is that you would have to remove your wheel. You know what? You can do this without jacking it up and removing the wheel if you have a 90 degree screwdriver, a little Phillips screw bit, you know, because I managed to remove the driver's side just over a plank. So if I can do it, you can do it. Good luck. It's annoying. I know I tried to fit in my my ratchet right here, but it doesn't fit. So yes, we would have to remove the rear wheels for this, unfortunately. You will have to put your jack stand behind the pinch welds because you need to access this part of the side skirt, okay? <sighs> 
just an update. I got most of the clips. Oh my god. I hate these clips. By far, this is the top one worst clips I've ever had to deal with. I got them all out except for one. One freaking clip. It's parallel to the door hinge, so it's not like I can do so much, right? This part is just one thin line that doesn't have any support. So I don't really want to pull so much on that area just because I'm, I'm scared that I might break it, right? But I've been spending on that freaking thing for almost 20 minutes. Not gonna lie, I almost pooped my pants, honestly, from like really yanking it. Whew, okay, that was that was crazy. All right, so we these fucking things, they're ridiculous. So I broke two clips already that were supposed to be rocking there. So in here, I literally had to pry a, a flathead screwdriver and just like pry it out there. All right, so this one's gone, boom. Um, I'm gonna do the other side, I'm not gonna show that to you. That's the rundown of how to remove a side skirt. All right, so I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, good. Feels like it's not sitting properly, but we'll have to make do. Looks like we have to like clamp it or something. Obviously, the purpose of this is so that we can figure out which points I need to drill through. So, there you go. It's currently being held by tap screws, but I'm not going to leave it with tap screws. I'm just trying to hold it together and see how it looks like. Huh, very clean. I love it. I haven't even painted it yet, so um, yeah, let's do the painting now, actually. It's actually pretty, getting pretty cold now. I want to make sure that this entire thing is done before the temperature drops in like five days time. So let's try to make sure we finish this project. All right, so we're almost done with this installation. I just need to clean the side skirt panels, surfaces, so it, you know, it's, it's never been cleaned down there, so it's, this is the perfect time to clean that. And we're going to mount the side skirt extension with these machine screws that I found laying around in my toolbox. I mean, these are pretty small for the application that I want it to be, but, ah, c'est la vie. All right, let's go. I finally mounted the side skirt extension to the body itself. Now I just have to install, you know, everything back again. I don't know if you want to watch that, but you know what? Let's do a time jump, okay? One, two. So basically, you know, every single time I go home to do, you know, car stuff, it's just getting really dark really fast. So, yeah, you know, gotta make do. I'm not pretty sure if this is the last 370Z video of the year. I hope God it's not because I, you know, I, I like making 370Z content. But so far, this is it. This is it for now. I finished all of the uh, the ground effects. I have the front lip for my V2 Nismo, and then I have the rear diffuser by Peter, and then I have this Max the Design or the side skirts extension. So, if you like this video guys, hit the like, and if you haven't subscribed yet, you know what to do, hit the red button, and then the bell so you get notified when I'm gonna be releasing new videos, and you can follow me on Instagram, at its.ericbenson, and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy, folks.